All right. So we have one more round of spotlight talks, and we will open with Shun Zhen will present on DAGs with no tiers, continuous optimization for structure learning. All right, thank you. I'm Shun. Uh, this work is about uh, Bayesian network structure learning using continuous optimization. So let's start with some basics. So we know graphical models are compact representations of joint distributions. And in the fully observable case, once we are given the graph, we can draw samples from the graphical model. And in this paper, we're interested in the inverse problem of sampling, which is structure learning. So we're given the data, and we try to estimate the graph that fits the data best. So let's talk about where we are in the literature. So there are two types of graphical models. One is undirected ones are called Markov networks, and directed ones are called Bayesian networks. And their literature uh, share same patterns. So first, of, first common method is called Bayesian uh, constraint-based learning method, where you do a bunch of hypothesis tests to figure out the independent sets between railroads, and then you construct the graph out of the independent sets. So however, this method has some drawbacks, like uh, it requires strong assumptions, such as faithfulness. And the second type of method is score-based learning, where you define a score function, and you're optimizing your graph over this score optimizing a score over this graph. And this can be further classified into two methods. One is local search, where you add or remove one edge at a time. And this has been done for both Markov networks and Bayesian networks. However, the very fact that we're doing local search is because we need to solve a combinatorial optimization problem uh, using local heuristics. So about 10 years ago, a huge breakthrough happened in learning structure of uh, Markov networks. Uh, led by uh, methods like graphical lasso, and it has been hugely successful and widely applied in various fields like bioinformatics. So this method can be classified as score-based learning, but uh, using global search, where you update all the graph parameters at once. So a natural question is whether you can do this, the same thing in Bayesian networks. But there are certain challenges in Bayesian networks. First of all, you have to deal with directed graph which, is, which means you have to deal with non-symmetric matrices, and it's hard to deal with then symmetric matrices. And you also need to constrain your graph to be acyclic. So that's, a, that's a, by nature a combinatorial constraint. So this paper is uh, about taking the first step into addressing these challenges by converting a combinatorial optimization problem into a continuous one. So this is a one-slide summary of our paper. On the left, you are seeing the good old combinatorial score-based optimization problem, where we are maximizing over score and subject to the graph being a directed acyclic graph. And on the right is our identical, is our equivalent formulation. We're changing the graph variable into a adjacency matrix variable, and we're replacing the graph directed acyclic graph constraint into a smooth function, smooth inequality constraint. And the right-hand side problem is now a smooth constraint optimization problem, and we can just use any existing numerical solvers to solve this. So our main contribution of this paper is show that such a function, h, exists. It's a smooth function, and it has a simple gradient. It can be easily imp implemented. It can be easily evaluated. And it can even measure how close to a DAG it is. So. For the reason that it's so easy to implement, this method is called no tiers, and it can really be implemented in using like 50 lines of Python. And all we do in this piece of code is calling SciPy's LBFGS. And this code is uh, on GitHub. Whereas uh, in all the exist most of the existing algorithms, uh, they require over a thousand lines of code of very clever heuristics hand coded. So let's look at some results. Uh, in this task, we're given the ground truth, where we have the ground truth graph, and then we're drawing samples from this graph, uh, ground truth graph, and we're trying to recover the uh, graph structure. So on the left, you are seeing the uh, heat map of the adjacency matrix of the ground truth graph, and on, in the middle, we're seeing the R estimate. And you can see it's pr uh, very close to the ground truth. On the right, we're seeing one of the baseline methods called grid, fast greedy equivalent search, and that, doesn't do very well compared to us. So one nice property of our method is that it's uh, ignorant, it's agnostic about the graph structure. So we can naturally deal with 
very different graph with a, a very different degree distribution. So you can see on a scale-free graph, we have very different uh, degree distribution, but we can still uh, very closely estimate the uh, ground truth, whereas the baseline doesn't do as much as well. So to summarize, we uh, propose a novel uh, smooth characterization of DEX and use existing numerical solvers to solve this optimization problem. So it's just, we are building a uh, bridging be between optimization and structure learning. So if you think the method, uh, the paper is great, you should come to our poster and we'll I'll share with you some secret limitations. <laughs> Thanks.